Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to Top TRK. My name is Steve. Yeah. And we're going actually on tour. It's been a while, but it's time we did one. Where's my wife? There's Mary behind me. Uh, we're actually going to be going to the CNE, a tradition that's um, that's been in Toronto for over a hundred years. I think so. Yeah, near a hundred years, if not even more. And um, the reason we're going is. A couple of buddies, uh, pinball guys of our, I think it's the th the third year doing it. Um, they're going to be doing, there's a pinball tournament, an arcade tournament, and uh, not arcade tournament, just like free play, but definitely a pinball tournament. I'm not going to be entering the tournament this year. It's going to be um, more just free play. Mary and I want to go play. They have a lot of new games, the new Jurassic Park. They have, uh, let's go here, man. Uh, what else? They have... Um, um, Willy Wonka in the Charlie uh, Chocolate Factory. They have uh, a lot of games, a lot of really good games that Player One has um, donated. Player One is the uh, official the distributor and buyer of games within uh, Canada. And they uh, support a lot of games. I know a lot of local... Uh, a local collectors have uh, provided games as well. Um, yeah, so it should be very interesting. I really want to go play. There's obviously friends of mine that are there. Um, I really like uh, to hang out with and see as always, but I really want to play the new Jurassic Park. I love the theme. I've liked the Date East one in the early 90s. Um, it's on my extended to buy list, but again, that's who knows what's going to happen in the future. But it looks really cool. They have made in there. They have a lot of games there. Like I think it's over, if I'm not mistaken, 40, maybe even 50 pins on free play, new and old. Um, it's pretty good. I think it's $18 to get in just on free play and play as much as you want. Again, I'm not entering the tournament. I know friends of mine have, and uh, they're doing okay. Uh, Mary and I are not going to uh, join. <laughs> Mary and I are not going to join, and we're just going to. Um, you know, hang out and play. This is the tradition Mary and I have been doing since we met uh, back in 05. Yeah, back in 2005. So it's a tradition we always go every year, uh, which is near Mary's birthday as well. So it's always a nice tie-in. But, you know, usually we get beef jerkies, which is something we always get. Uh, and, we always, and we always take local transit. It's always fun taking the, the train. Oh, it's not here yet. That's the other one. We're at the station right now, we're at uh, Shepherd Young, a lot of Torontonians will know where that is, and uh, we're just about there, so we'll take, um, you know, I'll give you guys an insight of what the CNE is, again, it's one of the uh, most, the long, one of the longest um, yearly expos they have, when I was a kid, I remember my uncle taking us, and my parents taking us, it was a routine thing, uh, with my brothers and I, and my cousins when they were young, and uh, my uncle would always win us like a big teddy bear. I remember one year he won me a uh, Lamborghini Countach white poster and it's been in my wall. I don't know where it went back in the, in the uh, early, early 90s. Uh, that's why it's one of my dream cars. But anyways, and I remember they used to have a midway there that had an actual arcade. Obviously that's gone. But now with the resurgence of vids and pins, you know, we have something like the gaming garage, which we're going to go see now. So um, when we get to the, the X, they call it, the CNE, uh, or the X, we're going to, uh, I'll show you guys around what it looks like. Again, there's a lot of events, there's a lot of games, there's a lot of, you know, food, uh, different colleges and whatever else. So we'll go visit it. And again, it's a tradition every year. And uh, we'll check out the gaming garage and see if I can get footage of friends of mine and also just the uh, gaming experience. Nice. All right, so we just entered from the Princess Gate, and the first thing I see, the first thing I see is a Nintendo booth, which I've never seen before. Mary, come behind me. I'm gonna be just be here. I've never seen this before. I've, last year they did not have this. I don't know what this is about. So they have the Nintendo Switch set up. That's kind of so. I guess they have uh, just more advertising, so a lot of kids can play. Okay, so they, they're just boots. That's interesting. Yeah, smart. So they have Mario Kart, they have Mario Maker. A lot of it's for the kids interactive with... Um... Would you like to come in and try it out? No, I can see it. Thank you, though. No 
Yeah, that's kind of you. Thank you. Check it out in, from the inside. Thank you. There is shade though. <laughs> this is the first year you guys have do, are doing this, right? I uh, know. I know we were here last year for sure. I think we were here, here previous years as well, but I'm not 100 percent on that. Not was it this big though? I don't remember this big of a um, setup. We were in this area. We were all the way back at the kids section. Last ah, year. maybe that's why we didn't see it. But unfortunately, I wasn't here last year. So it's I okay. Can't, uh, say to the size comparison of the two. Fair enough. Thank you though. Oh, my pleasure. If you have any other questions, let me know. Very well, thank you. I like your Yoshi hat. Very cool. Awesome. So right. smart. That's because it, right, it's right where the entrance is. So I guess you know the kids come in. A lot of paraphernalia. Um, so the way the X works is, if you haven't been, is a lot of it's, it's like any not carnival, but like any any big. Uh, well, I guess it is a carnival if you think about it. You know they have a lot of like there's a lot of music. There's a lot of food truck. There's some vendors again. There's hats. There's shirts. But again, a lot of it's foods. A lot of games, which we'll get into. I'll pause and we'll get into it. But again. And just a lot of uh, phone covers, like knickknacks, hats. Again, a lot of, because the Raptors won the champion, there's a lot of gear. Blue Jays are, they're, on, they're not really doing well, but still. Check it out. So like I was saying, this, we're still walking around again. This is really what it is. The Toronto FC, uh, the soccer club or football club, Whack-A-Mole, they play here at the BMO Center. Okay, two players, you guys play? Or two more? All right. We got a few, we got a few more. We'll go for choice again, guys. A little close to play, come on and help. Again, carnival feel, play. exhibit play. feel. Yeah. Very similar every year. New games, new prizes. You know those big uh, stuffed animals and whatever else. They have a corn, like on the, with charcoal. That's always really good. It's, it's fun though. Really good to bring the kids. Even though not just to walk and eat something unique. It's uh, around twenty dollars to get in. General admission, kids, I think, are like ten or twelve. But it's on the website. I'll leave it in the uh, description below. But uh, it's always fun, you know. Yeah, man. I remember my, my uncle used to play and always win. Always win us things. This one has a lot of Pokemon. Ooh, Charmander. Look at all these Pikachus and everything else. A lot of Mario. Oh, cool, you can actually win an actual like, Mario Kart. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I don't want to spend too much time. It's like any other carnival, but again, this is this is as Toronto as it gets. This is uh, Toronto's history. Again, a lot of memories. My wife and I, these, this is right there. She used to take us here every year. It was a staple. It's only good for around two weeks. And a lot of time, it's bittersweet. Uh, the CNA is always kind of bittersweet because it's the uh, kind of the unofficial ending of summer. Because it's the week, it ends right before the week, the week before school ends. So you know that, you know, it's back to school for the kids and a lot of times back to work for the, a lot of the adults. There's the CN Tower right there in the back. So again, if you're ever in Toronto, it's the uh, mid to late end of August. If um, you're new to, new to the city or if you're visiting, it's neat. Check it out again, nothing crazy, just a carnival, crazy eats, fun games, and it's good to take your kids and just hang out again now. Let's get to the um, the gaming garage because it, we've been, I've been here for we've been here for around two hours just walking around and hanging out, and I don't want to miss it because I don't know how long we're gonna stay in there. Because again, these games will be here. So anyway, so oh here it is. It says game on. Let me let me see the uh, the marquee America. So I guess we're going in the right place. Oh Mary, it's in the it's in the. Uh, Enter Care Center. Yeah, so there it is. Hall F. Here's the uh, advertisement. Ah, I didn't see this last year. There it is. Nice. Okay. Let's go check it out and uh, let's do a review on that. All right, guys. So here it is. I just stepped in to see uh, how big and where to start filming. And I am so overwhelmed and how big this has got. It's only been here for a few years. And how big this has got is, a, is stunning 
and even the organizers, which I've just saw a few of my friends, and they said, Steve, next year we're gonna even need more room. Watch this. Okay, so obviously there's just the intro, and then EB Games. There's a lot of advertising from a lot of computer companies, and if you guys are gamers, both online, PC, uh, you guys are in we're a, um, a treat here. Watch, I, I'm actually very surprised how big this is. All right, so there's a lot of so there's a lot of um, Pokemon like like Yu-Gi-Oh. There's a lot of cards. All right, so there's that. A lot of AMD. There are the there's the big there are the big sponsor, as is Asus, as in as is Radon. So this is the gaming. Uh, there's a lot of gaming things. Big Jenga. So a lot of online gaming. They're also doing, uh, this is, um, do you think you can, that's, oh cool, look at this. I just don't want to get hit by a copyright because of the music. But now this one is, uh, what? So the Just Dance, it's motion capture, which is cool for the kids. I'm going to try to do this a little, because it's so, there's so much. They sell computers here, they show like all their best computers. Yeah, Radeon, all the, uh, all the big companies are here. Republic of Games. Everything's on. Everything is on free play. Uh, there are some tournaments you can do, which we'll, we'll see. Um, okay, that's the pinball thing. I'm gonna get there last because I already spoke to the all my guys, and they said come film us. So before I get there, let's see everything else. But uh, just to see, it's not only pinball on arcade. I, I'm actually naive. I'm thinking it was only. <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Our guys, the pinball on arcade guys, and I'm dead wrong. Again, the gaming section is just so much bigger, and I should know this, being that I am one, but I don't know, I'm just very surprised. Anyways, I'll shut up. So, so what they do is I talk to a few, a few of these guys, and they have uh, older computers here. Uh, they have the evolution of gaming, uh, of AMD. So they have a computer from 1991. The original Doom is there. original smash so they have computers back from the late 90s and early 2000s um, and then this is for the ultimate PC I mean what they they look at this so what they've done is Canada computers which is a very big computer company I've actually been there before they're pretty good um, so they support all this and they just bring all jacked up computers very strong computers and then they have couches. This is all free play. You can come and you can just play. And um, other than like a tournament, which we'll see in a moment, everything's free. You can just play around again. Look at this thing. You know, huge. Look at this beautiful computer. So they have, you know, again, very jacked up, really nice computers. So you can see the full potential. Again, a lot of um, like role playing and um, card games. And this is where uh, classic consoles are. Some VR stuff. Is that Twisted Metal? Yeah. So a lot of... Uh, can I walk through this? So a lot of GameCube, a lot of classic gaming. This is crazy. Oh my god, the old duck hunt to the old NES. Very cool. So they have the, I mean, this is not the real Atari, it's a flashback, but so be it. N64, NES, Virtual Fighter on the Saturn. So very cool. Yeah, this is uh, NES minis, they have the real NES. Drum Hero or whatever it is, rock, guitar hero stuff. Yeah, but there's a, have you seen the arcade cabinet? There's a so, very, very cool. And again, they, you sit down and you can play like with really strong computers. It's smart though, so if you see a really, and they sell everything, so if you see a really good computer, you can uh, buy it. And then, so AMD and ACES, 
are um, advertising their they're advertising their products because so pretty much you go sit down you play and then they try to sell you hey it's not a bad thing right that's what advertising is they try to sell you on what they you just played and the reasons why which it is what it is but uh, you don't have to again everything's on free play so nothing free in life I mean they want to advertise so be it and then here's like if you want to see all the hardware and everything else a little beyond me I'm not I mean I was a computer guy back in the day but now later on not so much um, and again a lot of cool things I'm gonna keep going we're gonna get start getting into the uh, start getting into the uh, other stuff so there's the VR station that's the future of gaming I think anyways stronger PCs all right, let me let me go here because this is where I was. So again, they just you can just sit and play. I don't know what games or what they do, but it's really cool. So here's the vids again. Okay, here's why we came, and this is my realm, I assume. So here's a Rampage cab and the original Midway. Looks like they have original joysticks. Okay, original Pac-Man, Galaga. Robotron, Road Blasters, you don't see that that often. Ms. Pack, Donkey Kong, DK3, Tiger Road, Space Invaders, Punch Out, Virtua Fighter, Street Fighter, Pole Position Cab. Oh, it's going to be tight in here. There's a Cocktail Cubert. Um, another Pac Man. Simpsons. All right, here's a Frogger. It's like a Turbo. Pac-Man. Pac-Mania. Pac-Man Plus. Exciting hour. I've never seen that before. A nice cold beer, which is down. Interesting. I wonder who that is. Uh, gels. Super Pac. 1942 with uh, I think a, a 10 and 1 or a 19 and 1. Another Galga, Rolling Thunder, Naughty Boy. I've never heard that before. 1943, Kangaroo, a lot of Centipede. I've never even heard of Naughty Boy. Um, clowns, never heard of this either. Mousetrap and Cruder. Tuningham, Track and Field. Five Pinball. Or Pin. Yeah. Prince of War, Ghostbusters, like Pokemon and all anime type stuff. Mercs, don't see that often. Blastroids, Sky Soldiers, Wacko, a cool cabinet. Uh, Tetris, Castlevania, looks to be a uh, versus, yeah. Super Breakout, Asteroids. Pango, Pongo Bongo, yeah, we don't see that often as well. And uh, a WrestleFest. Very interesting. So a lot of great a lot of great cabinets that you don't really see that often. <coughs> I actually want to see who later on I'm gonna see who supplies them with. Again, they have Xboxes, current consoles, you can just sit and play. A huge Fortnite present. Again, you buy a lot of uh, a lot of knickknacks and whatever else. And this is just uh, t-shirts, other things. I think these are card games and like the little figurines. I don't know that realm too much, I have to, to be honest. Uh, this is just, you know what's cool? If you could just, honestly, it's free. It's $18 to get into the X, you can do everything we've been seeing. And you get to just sit and play. Now there is a tournament that you can register for. That's official, but look at all this. I'm going to do a, I'm shorter, so I'm going to do a high. Look at this. So they have different different games playing. You can choose from. They have headphones. And um, yeah, very. I'm not going to go through the rows, but you can see it. It's huge. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah, so there it is. Free play. You can do whatever you want. This is kind of neat. 
there's a lot of the um, it's in wood and they have uh, cutting boards but it's like anime and like movies and things that we're all familiar with as gamers you see all that yeah Pokemon and all that VR and again a lot of figurines Star Wars uh, keychains and just everything related so this is the tournament. You can actually uh, register for a tournament and win money. These guys are really nice. Usually all gamers are pretty cool. But uh, Hugh, if you guys, honestly, if you guys are gamers and you like computer gaming, if you guys want to come here and you test out like the strongest PCs, apparently, they have them. You can just, I can sit here and play, but again, oh, they have Blizzards, what's that, World of Warcraft? Maybe League of Legends, whatever. Very, very cool. Now, let's enter the realm that we know. The video games were a pretty good standing. Let's look at pinballs now. There's uh, Oktoberfest. I played that in uh, Allentown. It's actually a pretty cool game. Oktoberfest, the uh, Houdini. It's okay. Houdini. It's actually, I like Houdini, but unfortunately it's down. I think. I wore it unless... Uh, no, this is all free play. Maybe it's down. Uh, Monster Bass. Attack from Mars. Dialed in. Uh, Wizard of Oz uh, Yellow Brick Road Edition. You can see with the team molding. Uh, the Hobbit, which of course you know I have. Primus game, which you don't see that often. A Johnny Mnemonic. Spider Man. T Doc. Lord of the Rings. Baywatch. Independence Day. Corvette. Six Million Dollar Man. And uh, High Speed. Later, here's the Star Trek. Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Wars, Ghostbusters, ACDC, another Ghostbusters, another Star Wars, and uh, Monsters, which is kind of cool. What else do we have here? Demolition Man, World Cup, Starship Troopers, Mars Trek, and a roller coaster. So, really good showing, a lot of stern, and then we'll see again, Player One is the official um, seller of all of Ontario. Let's go around. This is kind of cool. This is stand-up pinball where it's a virtual pin. You can pick your game. Now here's the tournament. Again, those guys are friends of mine. Dino and Barry. Adam Becker, again, big player. Hey, Walt. Walt's there. And let me just do a panama panoramic. Before I go into the, uh, this is the tournament. Um, I'm just doing a shot here. And I told Mary to go uh, hang out for 20 minutes while I do this video. So again, people that sell, um, you know, artwork. Very cool. Oh, there's more vids, I didn't see this part yet. Pac-Man, Pixel Bash, Arcade Legends. The Foosball, there's a uh, Super Tex Hockey looks to be like the new Atari Pong it is let's see the new the, the stern lineup so more stern lineups so there's ACDC which looks great there's Deadpool the Munsters that's the premium black and white Beatlemania or Beatles Iron Maiden beautiful game Aerosmith uh, and Spider-Man again oh there's more games here another Aerosmith Mustang Looks to be Jungle Queen, Volcano, actually I like that game, that's Eddie's I think. Pinbot, Grand Lizard, and Silver Ball in the corner, I don't want to bug them. So again, this is all on free play, if you come and play with your kids, yourself, or spouse, or whoever, there's absolutely no charge, other than getting in, again, general admissions $20, and you get to see all this, again, we haven't even seen the actual, like, the the uh, li Better Living Center, which is part of the X. So, anyways, let me go in, because, I again, these are my crew. So, I'm going to go in, and uh, we'll go in. Let's see. Walt, what's going on? Not much. How about you, Steve? Very well. So, I know we talked earlier before I started filming. How's the tournament going so far? The tournament's been going very well. Yeah. Uh, we're averaging a lot of players every day. Uh, all three classics have gone well. The main is gone smoothly. I'm really happy with how things have gone. Do you think, I know that I was saying to the camera that how big this is, and I'm surprised. Do you think next year it's going to be even bigger? Uh, it's been getting bigger every year, so I don't see 
why we wouldn't keep growing. That makes sense. So far, how are you doing in the tournament yourself? Well, I've just missed playoffs in Friday classics. I just missed playoffs in Maine. I didn't play Saturday classic. Right. Because I was picking up my kids from the airport. And uh, today, well, I must be tired. Fair enough. There's still time left. Well, thanks. Well, let me go around. You said not to pass the yellow line. That's for that's where the tournament is, right? right? Yes. Okay. So well, you're more than welcome to go in and film in front of the yellow. If anyone that's watching next year wants to participate, do they? How do they pre-register? Do they go online? Do they contact? It yeah. It comes up in the CNE Gaming, uh, the CNE Canadian National Exhibition website. Right. And it published around the May long weekend this year. Oh, really? That so early? We start the planning in like. December, right. and we're ready to go pretty much by May usually. That's And then they can just register. How much is it for the tournament? Uh, pricing, there's early bird prices, and if you register early, they're cheaper. Okay, so and I'll, I'll do it online. online. If you register for the tournament with the uh, Axe Admission, it's a good deal. Right. However, the pricing model, I cannot comment on it now because it's likely it will change for next year. Very well. Okay, it'll be in the description below. That's no problem. And yeah, everybody can visit the website. Yep. All right, thanks. Well, again, we'll talk personally later on. Let me go see the guys and uh, look around. All right, have Take fun care, man. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. So there's a couple of my buddies. There's Dino. And then there's Barry as well. Great players, good friends of mine. So I can't go back past the yellow line. And again, there's people just... Um, Pinball, Degenerates, I guess they're just doing a radio podcast. So again, there's ACDC, there's a Black Knight, Swords of Rage, there's Iron Man, uh, Surf and Safari, don't see that often. Attack from Mars, there's uh, Batman 66, Twilight Zone, Willy Wonka, the new game which I want to play later, but again, it's in tournament. Now the reason the games are off is not because, go ahead guys. Hey, how you doing? I was going to kick you out, but I know you. <laughs> Um, these games are not down. The reason they're off is because they're they're going to be um, turned on from the main tournament, so nothing goes wrong with them in the meantime. And later on, people will uh, you know can play them. But these are for the tournament. So when they're not being played in the, in the tournament, the games are off for safekeeping for the tournament. But they work 100%. But again, that's uh, Walking Dead, the new Jurassic Park by Stern. Joke or per poker, Sky Jump. She liked that EM. It's a great game. Uh, Force Two. I don't think I've ever played that. Uh, there's Dragon. Fire. I'm not. No. No, I know. I just can't pass the yellow line. I know the guy that that opens. I know Walt. He told me I can come. Yeah. Hey, Kev. What's up? So Fireball. Wonder Woman, Viking. What else do we have here? Robocop. Wow, I, mean, I haven't played Robocop in a long, long time. F14, Tomcat, Class of 1812, and Genesis. So, great lineup, uh, new and old. Very cool. Again, a lot of these guys I know. This little girl tried to kick me out. Says I can't be here. It's okay. I mean, just trying to enforce the rules. Her dad told her, yep, as long as they're behind the yellow line, it's okay. She said, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, no harm, no harm done. So I'm going to, um, what I'll do is I'm going to stop filming, but uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll go later on and see what else is up. But that's pretty much, as Walt said, the way the tournament works will be in the description. Like I said, it's very interactive. Um, if you want the, all the, all the, um, all, all the um, all the pricing and all the uh, registration is in the description below. Again, by the time you see this, the tournament will be over for 2019. So if you ever want to join for 2020, it will definitely be here next year. No question about it, 100%. And again, there's a couple of them. There's Eddie, there's Adam. This is Jeff as well. Yeah, these guys I know from tournaments and that are cool with and friends of mine. But um, and there's Jerry. Jerry is the uh, he runs not only plays in tournaments, but he's the um, he's the sales representative for Player One, which sells all Stern, JJP, and all that. And uh, very interesting. So what I'll do is um, I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go find my wife and play, and I'll be back. All right, so we're back in the gaming garage and the tournament's over. It's, it's not as busy 
as you can see. So um, here's a closer look at the new Jurassic Park. This is the pro version. You can tell my wife's now playing. She's more serious than these guys here. So, <laughs> uh, very, oh nice, good save. As you can see, it's a really cool shot. More of the on the play field there, uh, which is great. Very cool shots. There's Wayne Knight, a Newman character. Very cool. Uh, deviates a little from the story. So the story is now you're Wayne Knight, or like his character, and you're pretty much collecting the dinosaur DNA I did to get it off the island. I know a few people are there. So a uh, nice cabinet, very uh, family oriented. Has the Jurassic Park logo, has the theme. Um, but again, it deviates a little from the actual story. Again, this is the Pro. More people want to play it. So yeah, very cool. Look so far, cool shots. Pretty cool shots. Uh, you can put a mass of scores. You know, 700,000. So I'm going to uh, just go around. I'm going to look at Wonka in just a moment. But yeah, really cool. So let's uh, look at Wonka. Beautiful game. Again, this is the pro version. Or Very, very beautiful. I'm just about to play. I played this at Allentown. It's a fun shooter. Again, it's a Lawler game. A lot, uh, lot going on. The rule set. I know there's new um, a new code that just came out. But uh, very beautiful game again, very uh, kid-friendly, family-friendly. Beautiful inserts, different RGB lighting. I don't want to take too much time because a lot of people are waiting. But uh, very cool game. All right, I'll be back. Well, everyone, there you have it. That was um, the gaming garage at the exhibition of the CNE. This is 2019. Mary and I had a blast. We are tired, though. It's been a very long day. Uh, played it, uh, played some pinball at the end again played Wonka and the new Jurassic Park um, Out of both of them. I actually like Wonka But um, I wish I had more time in it Wonka you couldn't hear anything Because again, it was so loud. But I'd love to play Wonka even more. I like it better than I did um, In Allentown, I had around six games on it really liked it um, It is um, a great theme that I really like one of uh, my my uh, movies that I found later in life that I really liked when I was younger. But um, either way, guys, look, uh, it's been a blast. Again, it's now, I've never, my mayor and I have never stayed this late ever in our 13 years of coming. We usually leave around 5. It's around 8.30 at night. And it's a work day tomorrow, so again, we got to get going. But again, still look, a lot, a lot of people. But uh, really could, but guys, look, it's been a pleasure. Thanks again for checking out Top Tier. Look at the description below uh, for all the details about the Gaming Garage tournaments, upcoming events, and uh, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, if you can, please. I got a lot more coming. It was great to get out and do a Top Tier on tour. I haven't done one in a while, and it's about time, and I want to do more, and I may have another few more coming. Thanks again for checking out Top Tier. Peace.